Ladies and gents, welcome to CG Reaction, and this is The Back Rooms by the channel Nick Crowley. One wrong step, and you could find yourself in the back rooms, an endless prison that few ever escape, a place where no man should ever go. What the hell is a back room? I never heard of any of this. So yeah, I'm trying out a new type of videos to react, you know, a bit of, you know, scary, creepy, terrifying type of videos. I, I did the 4chan thing yesterday, uh, you know, so I'm doing this, uh, the back rooms. Uh, so if you like uh, this type of videos that I'm reacting to, you know, don't forget to like and, you know, comment to tell me. And if you have some particular videos you want me to react to, comment down. And yeah, if you like uh, all the videos I do, subscribe and check out the reaction. I did this link in the description with all of my videos. Check out the cast of the playlist. Like Internet historian, Salmonella, SCP, CGP Grill, let me know, things like that. And yeah, let's watch this one. Our world truly is a terrifying place, and I don't think there's ever been a more relevant time in this channel's history to make a statement like that. Yeah. This video was uploaded in April of 2020 last year. So yeah. One of the things that has always scared me the most about this world is when it glitches. That plane looks like it's just hovering. It looks like a big one as well. What? It's been a topic that I've briefly mentioned on my channel before. Yeah, I think that's just an illusion, you know. Uh, I, was, I think I've seen a video where there was a massive wind uh, going on. So a jumbo jet was trying to land and it looked like it was hovering but slowly coming towards the runway because it was such a strong wind. So I think that's what's going on there and the trees moving just giving you illusion that it's hovering but I think if, if it's trying to make a U-turn of some sort and there's a massive wind and if you're looking from that angle while the trees are moving it will look like that it's hovering but I'm pretty sure it was slowly uh, turning and going forward because jumbo jets can't hover that's just that's just no there is no jumbo jet that can hover so that's that's not the case so obviously that's an illusion so often, something will happen that breaks the rules of reality. No, it doesn't. Planes hovering and doppelgangers are two examples of this. Ah, oh, see that again. Look at look at the plane closely. Planes hovering and doppelgangers. Look, it even feels like it's going a bit forward. This is just illusion. Two examples of this. It's just slow. And surely most would be at least a little creeped out by experience. Nothing can break the laws of physics, laws of reality. So no, that that that, that plane is moving. It's just it's just brain failure, illusion that our mind you know sees because it can't figure out something. But what happens when these glitches get more serious? What happens when you glitch out of reality completely? Well, if this happens to you, you may find yourself in a place where no man should ever go. A never-ending prison of rooms that exists outside our world that's now your new home. And if it sounds scary, maybe you'll take comfort in knowing that at least you won't be alone. Okay, so back rooms are not really real. Just people have this, I guess, illusions or something. In May of 2019, the following picture was posted to 4chan that caught the attention of many. The there picture you go, was again. of what we now know as the back rooms. Something about it, the emptiness, the tone, just gave people bad vibes and summed up the full. Dude, <laughs> you never seen an empty building? I mean, for some reason it was empty, maybe. The last owner was, you know, moving out before the new owner came in. I mean, it was a newly built building. Who the hell knows? It's just an empty room. What's wrong with that? I just, you know, built, uh, you know, another floor on my house. And that was empty too. If I had put, a, you know, take a picture of that at, at the just right time at evening or like 8 p.m. or something. And put it on some forum, that would look creepy. So what? It's just empty room. Photo was incredibly unsettling. Along with the photo, a caption was added that claimed that the back rooms go on for an impossible distance, and every room looks the same. It is said that there are a few ways to wind up trapped in these back rooms. Some say that they can be accessed through your dreams, or even seen in visions. Because of this, many claim to recognize the picture, and even felt some sort of nostalgic fear oh, when seeing it. Fuck's sake. But others claim 
our mind might be really complex but in certain ways it's really simplistic for a reason so there is no much of confusion so our mind see uh, only some type of patterns so if something even is somewhat similar to what you've seen in the past even a bit similar your mind takes that as a pattern and remember it like that so even if you've seen something that is just mildly similar to that you'll be like oh i've seen that before I remember this that deja vu effect have you do you remember if the first time you hear a song and at that time whatever you're going through whatever your time period whatever you're feeling that gets imprinted in that song if you hear that song after four or five years you're gonna suddenly have this surge of feeling and you know remember all the mo- perfectly it's a better way to remember things than just remembering if you just remember you remember us visually somewhat if you remember it through songs or something like that there is just more to it so just your mind just captures something as patterns that doesn't mean you seen that just you seen some other empty room that you can't figure out just the lighting was right and this lighting is just similar so your mind is like oh i've been here claim that the only true way to get there is much more difficult and it requires a tremendous amount of luck or perhaps in this case the exact opposite it's theorized that every object we interact with in this world is clipped to our reality. So for example, when you bump into a wall, you collide with it and you bounce off of it. But going back to glitches in our reality, it is said that on occasion, objects within our world will no clip. This is something that happens often in video games, <laughs> where a part of the map- What, you go to Hogwarts? <laughs> There will be no clip, so you go through the wall, you go to Hogwarts. It becomes no clipped, and you bump into it, you go right through it, and you sometimes end up falling right off the map. There, <laughs> your player is stuck, still inside the game, but in an endless void beneath the map. In the real world- Don't compare reality with games, man, that's not a, that's not a proper, you know, comparison. No, it doesn't glitch. Walls don't glitch. Come on, man. World, people believe that some objects can become no clipped from reality. A wall will appear darker than the others around it, or you'll find a door that you're certain there should be nothing on the other side. If you have a keen eye, you can notice these things and avoid them at all costs. But God, I'm getting pissed off with this video. Yeah, people believe lots of shit. People believe in what that shit going on to, to, to right now, QAnon or whatever. That bullshit. People believe a lot of believing means nothing. Our mind has lots of failures. That just say that's why we have a different type of equipment to measure things. We don't use our sensors to measure things. Otherwise, we would see things that are not there. Our, our mind is complex. Our consciousness is really complex. Nobody knows how that works. But the point is, lots of time we feel things that are not there, just because that's how mentality has become. We see patterns where there are none. So what people feel matters little with what's real. But not everyone is so lucky. For some, they unknowingly interact with these objects, likely thinking nothing of the implications that are soon to come. And much like a character in a video game, if you interact with a non-clipped object, you fall off the map. And one could imagine that it's incredibly confusing. I can Skyrim and Fallout if you hit the console button and put uh, type TCL, you start to clip. <laughs> Non-clip direct through the walls. And terrifying <laughs> to go from existing in one world to instantly being dropped into another. With nothing but millions of square miles of empty rooms on either side of you. But this is your reality now. And it's where your journey into the back rooms begins. Level zero is a maze of monotone yellow rooms, each looking the same as the last, with only the slightest of variations. The carpet that covers the level is moist and creates a persisting scent. In the beginning, the only sounds that can be heard is the consistent loud buzzing of the old fluorescent lights. As you walk through- Alright, I don't believe in this shit, but the way he's describing, I'm, I, like I said in the past, I'm a very visual person. If you describe something to me, images start to create in my head. Me being there and things like that. So that's just creeping me out. God damn, just standing there in complete silence, only the, you know, this uh, lights are making noises and that's it. 
There's a wet smell coming from the walls. Through the rooms, you'll start to realize how big the area actually is. Every room just leads to another and another. You start to wonder how big of an area could this actually be? And how could this even be possible? Many will start to run and sprint through the rooms thinking that this might get them out of this maze faster, but it's no use. And after running around for seemingly an eternity, you'll finally realize that you're likely going to be stuck in here for a while. This is like that SCP Infinite Ikea. Those, I don't know what those people are called, but the, the, some people has that issue of, you know, getting crowded, feeling like... Like if walls are too, you know, small, if the room is too small, they feel uneased, so they have to go outside, otherwise they panic. Those people who die with sock if they get trapped in things like this. What exactly this place is, is not known, and that's part of the mystery of it all. It's just an infinite maze of these off-putting rooms. And traversing a place like this would likely cause anyone to slowly lose their minds. It's believed that not many will survive this first level, and that's for a few reasons. Either they lose the will to carry on, or they encounter something. While walking through these rooms, you may find yourself encountering humanoid creatures. After walking for hours, and maybe even days, just imagine the horror of turning the corner. What the f was that? <laughs> what was that? Damn. Some, I guess, person who's lost his mind or something, I don't know. And seeing something standing there. Something that isn't human. What the fuck? These creatures are known as hounds, and they look like disfigured humans who walk on all fours. They make a low rumbling noise, which will serve as one of the only indications that you're near them before it's too late. On this level, these creatures are supposedly incredibly dangerous. If you happen to notice one, slowly back away in the opposite direction, and whatever you do, don't look at it. If you're lucky enough to survive your encounters with these creatures and the never-ending maze, then you may have a chance at escaping this level. Every so often, as you walk through these identical rooms, you'll find a wall that is slightly darker than the others. This is an indication that this too has been no-clipped. And it's possible that running into this wall will take you back to the world you knew before. And there, you'll be able to continue living your normal life. But doing so comes with a risk. Who is coming up with all this? Is, th is this some kind of game thing? Like, look, I saw first time I saw SCP introduction video. I'm like, what is this? Is this something real? What? I didn't know what the fuck SCP was. Then I realized, oh, wait a minute, this is some kind of fix in the world. Is this what that is? Or is this what people actually believe? Because that's the case, let's just say video game has is just a big thing for past two decades and people have wild imagination. Video games have back rooms like this for developers to for, you know, screw around, especially Bethesda games. So I guess a Bethesda fan just created this thing, I guess. who the hell knows. There's no guarantee to where walking through that wall will take you and no clipping again in the back rooms runs the risk of taking you further down to a spot that no one has ever seen before, where the beings are much, much more hostile. Also, interacting with a wall like this could take you back to the start of level zero, where you'll have to start your journey all over again, which means another cycle of repetitive torture. For that reason, this is obviously a gamble, and one that many would choose not to take. It's unknown how the transition from level 0 to 1 takes place. Some believe that you stumble upon a door, a hallway, a staircase, or even an elevator, which takes you to this next level, while others believe the scenery around you subtly starts to change until eventually you are in a completely different space. Believers of this theory state that after roughly 4 days of traveling, the bright yellow fluorescent lights begin to flicker. Till the space around you gets darker and darker eventually it gets pitch black only for the light to come back on and reveal the change in scenery but however you wind up there the dangers on this level are much greater than the one before 
Every level has even greater danger. Tell me how somebody who loves playing game didn't come up with this. After days of walking in a seemingly endless loop, you might actually welcome level one because at least it's something different. No longer is there a yellow wallpaper, but instead the walls are made of concrete. The floor on this level isn't the signature carpet of the one before it. Much like the walls, this too is concrete. A deep rumbling of machinery can be heard throughout this entire floor, as well as the creaking noises coming from unseen rooms. The hum of the fluorescent lights is still there, but it's greatly masked by the other noises. And in this floor, the lights are known to fail quite often. The lights will flicker at many spots and will often shut off completely and leave you in complete and total darkness. First time I heard, the, you know, I saw this title, The Back Rooms. Let react, let's react to this one because I thought this is going to be one of those, you know, dark web thing. I think they were called Red Rooms. I don't know. I confused those two things. I thought this is going to be that. But no, this is something called Back Room that somebody came up with and it's completely damn fictional. This is when the creatures on this level come out. You won't be able to see them, but you'll know when they're close. These creatures omit a disturbing, distorted, screaming sound as they drift through the darkness. If you hear them, quickly navigate to another room further away from the noises. And much like the level before, try not to look in the direction of these things because you never know how hostile they may be. Part of what made level zero so scary was the isolation. This is creepy as fuck though. The idea that it is only you and just a few other creatures within this labyrinth of walls. And in many ways, the same fear is prevalent in level one, except it's amplified by random bouts of darkness and a greater number of hostile beings. And things only get amplified more as we head to level two, the final level we'll be discussing today. As you walk through level one, the walls around you will begin to change. The vast rooms will become narrowed to the point where you're walking in long continuous hallways. The fluorescent lights are amplified to the point that the buzzing becomes even louder and the heat from- I'm not gonna lie, that is sound really creepy. Imagine that. Imagine you're just walking through this kind of a place, you know. And suddenly walls start to get narrow and narrow. You notice that being narrowing. You notice the lights are buzzing even more. There are more light. That, that, that would scare the fuck out of me, I'm not gonna lie. ...from them causes the temperature to soar over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The hallways are claustrophobic and resemble service tunnels, as there is piping and machinery lining the walls. Pretty much any being you encounter on this floor is hostile. And your only chance of escaping, once you see a figure, is to run the opposite way and don't look back. To many, this is considered to be the final level of the back rooms. It's a fairly unexplored and mysterious place that features no real exit points. Your chances of ever escaping the back rooms in general is incredibly low, but your chances of escaping level two is apparently nearly impossible. For the few that have supposedly survived this level, they did so by simply accepting the situation, remaining totally calm, and imagining the back rooms as their home. That's your only chance of escape. And if it doesn't work, then your fate is pretty much sealed. And even after all the pain and the wear that you've gone psychologically that would work he's saying that things like this happens in your dreams obviously your mind is creating that so if you believe you can escape if you believe this is just like your home and you stay calm your mind will create it like that so i guess there's some scientific thing here but i don't know this is just stupid on through in levels zero and one this is where your journey into the back rooms end All right, I just got the ad for the U.S. Air Force. Join the fight, U.S. Air Force. I don't have VPN on. Why the fuck is that ad in India? 
The back rooms are something that genuinely creep me out, and that's something that isn't always easy to do. The psychological horrors of traversing such a vast and terrifying landscape out of the reach of reality is a horrifying thought. But is there actually any truth to this? Are the back rooms actually real? Well, it appears that this is all just another creepy pasta. It is such a fascinating concept to me, and the story involved with it is scary really? even no knowing shit. full well that this is likely total fiction. The very idea of the back rooms speaks to the very essence of the things that terrify us the most. Unknown. The fear of being lost, the fear of being trapped, and the fear of being watched and hunted. Psychologically, it checks all the boxes for me. That is just simply unknown and out of our control. We don't know where the exit is. We don't know how to get out of there. So it's not in our control. And unknown. What are those creatures? What is this? What is this place? What's the end goal? Unknown is the biggest fear a person can have. When you see a dark place, non-illuminated place, uh, you, you you get scared. Why? Because darkness is scary? No, but th there could be anything there. It's dark. So unknown is the biggest fear of them all. That's why people get scared at night rather than at daylight. You go to some kind of a haunted haunted place, uh, some town or something. You go there at day. Maybe you'll feel uneasy, but it's fine because everything's illuminated. You go at night, you, you, you piss your pants or something. Why? Because it's dark. You don't know what's there or what. People think that, you know, ghosts are only around at night. I mean, there's no rule for that. No, at night you can't see anything. That's why you're scared. But it's also worth noting that there are still those who have claimed to have actually been there. They see it in their dreams and stay trapped there till they wake up. And they swear up and down that this place truly is real. Now, a nightmare like that is extremely possible to have. So perhaps this place does exist somewhere within our dreams. I mean, when I saw this picture, it was so recognizable to me, despite the fact that I've never even heard the story before. It's really something that I can't explain. Just something about this picture feels so... I just explained it at the start of the video, man. It's, your mind sees similarities in lots of places. It's really simplistic in a way. Even if you've seen a room that was empty and it's somewhat same illumination, you think you've seen this room before. That's how your mind works. I mean, look, there are people, let's just say our mind is so complex and there's lots of mental issues. You could diagnose half of the populace in the world and they will have some kind of, you know, uh, problems in their mind. You could diagnose them with some kind of, a, like, you know, most people you've, you know, grab and diagnose some form of OCD will, everybody will have. Some of them will be germophobe and things like that. So everybody can have mental issues in a way. Nobody's mind is perfect. So there are some people whose you know imagination is so strong in a way that if you suggest them something like show them some uh, creepy videos, show them this picture, that that will be imprinted in their mind so so strongly that the night they will have that kind of a dream nightmares and they're like oh I, I had nightmares like that. No, that's because you saw the picture and your imagination is a bit stronger than some people. Some people see some horror movie and when they go at night they can't even sleep because they'll be constantly getting awake because of all these horrible dreams. They will have that, you know, sleep paralysis thing where they, they, they will be able to see their own room. They are seeing their own room, but they are since half asleep. Their imagination is running wild, so they would see shadows and things like that. So this is just happens, man. This is, no, there is no back rooms. Nostalgic to me. So who knows, maybe I've been there in my dreams before too. But real or fake, out of all the horrors out there, there are few fates worse than finding yourself in the back rooms. No, no. Laws of physics, laws of reality is absolute. You can't clip through walls. But jumbo jets can't hover if there is no technology for it. I mean, jets can hover, fighter jets. But there is no technology for jumbo jets to hover. So that's not going to happen. Uh, unless there was some secret plane that the US's military was developing in Area 51 or someplace. And they somehow let it go. First of all, there would be Nevada Desert testing it out. Not there, the place that we saw. So, you know, planes can't hover all these things. There is no back rooms. People feel a lot of things. That's how our mind works. There's a reason why every scientific field has measurement tools of some kind. There is always an equipment, telescope, microscope. We, 
our sensors are not perfect we use radars we use different type of you know microscope you know x x ray scope and things like that you know ultraviolet scopes lots of things to check out things because our own sensors are not that accurate so we feel matters very little that's the thing that going on throughout the world you know even in the us politics people are go like you know you go with the facts i'll go with what people feel that is one of the most stupidest sentences i ever seen or ever ever heard in my life i'll go with what people feel what you feel matters very little in this sense in the reality sense what is real and what is not what's not your feeling doesn't matter but people nowadays are relying on feeling more than the actual facts all right so that was the back rooms uh, that, you know i would have liked some different more proper uh, videos about anything reality based than just fictional but fine is fine too i like fictional things uh, this could have easily be co- easily called scp some number of the back rooms this was like that this was from the channel nick crowley if you want me to react to more of his videos comment down if you want me to react to some other videos comment down and yeah i guess i'll see you next time